My school stinks. Words by Becky Scharnhorst. Pictures by Julia Patton. August 31st. Dear Diary, tomorrow is the first day at my new school. Mom and Dad told me to take deep breaths and to think happy thoughts. So far, it isn't working. P.S. They also said I was old enough to walk to school by myself. Good thing I drew a map. September 1st. Dear Diary, I think there's been a mistake. My desk mate stinks. My locker buddy bites and my teacher is unbearable. I told mom my classmates are wild animals, but she said all little kids are wild animals. I think I'm going to be sick tomorrow. September 2nd. Dear Diary, Mom didn't believe I was sick. Neither did Dad. September 3rd. Dear Diary, there's definitely been a mistake. Today, the monkeys asked me to play during recess. It was fun until they let go. Patricia caught me, but I still had to visit the nurse. Here is one of the quills she pulled out. I have 186 more. Patricia. Ouch. P.S. The deep breaths still aren't working. P.P.S. Neither are the happy thoughts. P.P.P.S. I'm not going back tomorrow. September 4th. Dear Diary, I had to go back. Ms. Fuzzybottom is the only one who understands. September 5th. Three reasons why I hate Wildwood Elementary. Number one, Betsy chewed up all my pencils. Number two, George keeps picking through my hair looking for bugs to eat. Number three, Charlie ate our science experiment. P.S. My school stinks. September 8th. Dear Diary, when I went to feed Miss Fuzzybottom, she was missing. I suspected Sammy, but he said he was still digesting his breakfast from last week. Maybe it was Charlie. Nope. P.S. Charlie asked me to eat lunch with him tomorrow. What if I'm lunch? P.P.S. I asked Dad if he would pick me up before lunch. He said no. So did Mom. Dear Stuart, will you have lunch with me tomorrow? Charlie. September 9th. Dear Diary, today in gym, we ran relay races. My team finished in four hours, 27 minutes, and two seconds. We lost. Then I let Camilla go first at the water fountain. By the time I got back to class, everyone had already left. Good news, I missed lunch. Bad news, Charlie waited for me. I got so scared, I left without my homework. Mr. Grizzly is not going to be happy about that. September 10th. Dear Diary, Mr. Grizzly gave out class jobs today. 
I wanted to be line leader, but instead I got closet cleaner. I found four dead cockroaches and gave them to Sammy for lunch. He said I could eat his dessert for the rest of the week because he wouldn't be hungry anyway. P.S. Maybe I should give one of the desserts to Charlie. He's always hungry. September 11th. Dear Diary, we ran races again today. This time, we won. P.S. I gave Charlie one of my cupcakes and he bit my finger. Nurse Molly said I only needed one bandage this time. Ouch! P.P.S. You can't get rabies from a crocodile. I asked. September 12th. Dear Diary, I found a note from Charlie. I'm sorry I bit your finger. I'm a nervous biter. Can we be friends? Maybe I should tell him about the deep breaths and happy thoughts. September 15th. Dear Diary, you'll never guess what happened. During lunch, the hyenas were laughing at my small teeth, but Charlie stood up for me. You should have seen them run when they saw his teeth. Later, he and Ralph helped me clean the closet. While we were in there, we heard a scary noise. Now we all smell really bad. P.S. Mom doesn't understand how a skunk got in the storage closet. I guess she'll find out at open house. Oops, sorry. <laughs> September 16th. Dear Diary, turns out that scary scratching noise was just Ms. Fuzzy Bottom. We threw her a welcome home party and gave her extra treats, but it seemed like she wanted to go back to the closet. Eek! September 17th. Three things I love about Wildwood Elementary. One, Betsy sharpens all my pencils. Two, George keeps me lice free. Three, my best friend, Charlie. Wildwood Elementary, open house. Deep breaths, Dad. <laughs>